Amber here with Amber Nicole Fitness to talk to you all about using my fitness pal and macro tracking. So most people wonder what in the heck is a macro? All it is, it's actually super simple. A macronutrient is one of the main nutrients that our body needs to survive. And there are three macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Those all make up what macronutrients are. Um, protein is four calories per gram. Carbs are four calories per gram. And fats are nine calories per gram. So they carry a little bit more um, calories per gram than the others. But when you are actually tracking your food intake using an app like MyFitnessPal, you will keep track of how many grams of protein, carbs, and fats that you're intaking. And that's going to vary depending on your goal, depending on your body, how much you move, how much you work out, your current weight, height, age. There's a lot of factors that go into finding the right balance of macronutrients for your body and it is different for everybody. And so if your goal is to lose weight and you need to lose some body fat, the only way to do that is to be in a calorie deficit. And a calorie deficit is actually much easier than it sounds. You just need to eat less calories than it takes your body to maintain its current weight. So there are some great calculators to figure out what your body is burning every day. There's not gonna be one calculator that's gonna know the exact amount, but you can come pretty close and you can find out just from tracking your calories um, over time, you'll better understand your body and what it needs and about how many calories it would need just to maintain its current status and how many calories it might need to eat in a calorie deficit. So one body. thing that I've been doing for a while, um, I compete in bodybuilding shows and do the bikini division. So I have been tracking my macros on and off for over six years now. Um, I of course do take breaks and things like that, but I, especially when I'm prepping for a show and need to lose some body fat, fat am very, very, very consistent with tracking my macros and I use my fitness pal to do that. So I'm going to be giving y'all a little tutorial on the basics of using my fitness pal. And I will walk you through how to use it um, from some videos that I made actually utilizing the app. So going into the my fitness pal app, I wanted to show you how to set up your goals. I do not like the goals that the app sets for you. The ratios are really weird but you will go into your um, settings and you will click on goals and then calorie, carbs, protein, and fat goals. And here you can actually type in and adjust your calories. And then down at the bottom, lets you actually adjust the percentages to match the goals that either you've gotten from a calculator or that we have given you. And now your goals are updated. Then I wanted to go in and show you how to change your settings. You click the bottom three little buttons on the right hand bottom. You will scroll down to steps and make sure that don't track steps is selected. If steps are tracked, it will actually give you those calories back to eat. And we don't want that. We want to create a calorie deficit if you are trying to lose body fat. Um, also, I want you to update your sharing and privacy and make sure that the box that says friends only is checked so that we can see your food tracking log if there's anything you ever want us to check out. So let's go in and actually add a meal. So I'm adding a lunch. Um, you will just click that little plus sign, then go to the meal you want to add and I am typing in a baked chicken breast. Make sure to add how you prepared the meat as it's going to be weighed differently if it's raw versus a cooked chicken breast. So I am actually adjusting it to five ounces to match the amount. I use a food scale, a digital food scale that I get off Amazon. 
And next, I am going to add that I had brown rice. So I will look for the brown rice. And in, in mine was steamed brown rice. And I will add that. And then next, I will add my asparagus. And I had some steamed asparagus spears that come in a bag. And I will add those. And then I will last search for avocado. I eat avocado quite often, so it comes up towards the top. And I had one and a half ounces, so you can actually change the number of servings to even say 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.15. Whatever you need, you can add. It doesn't have to be a whole number. Next, I wanna show y'all how to scroll down to the bottom. This nutrition tab with the graph is going to be a very helpful screen. Make sure you look at the nutrient, nutrient tab and you can see where you're at for the day with your protein, carbs, fat. Fiber is also an important one to pay attention to. Fiber will help you feel more full. Then you can also look at the macros graph and kind of see where you're at percentage wise for the day. I don't really use this tab too much. Mostly the nutrient screen is gonna be the one you will want to use. Also, at the end of the day, you want to make sure and complete your diary at the bottom of the screen. So that is some of the basics of using MyFitnessPal. We will have a couple more videos with more detailed information. But when you are first starting out, the number one most important thing to pay attention to is that you stay within your calorie goal for the day as close to it as possible. Of course, going over by maybe 10 or 15 calories is not gonna be detrimental, or staying a little bit under is not as well, but try to get as close to it as possible. And the next macro that you really wanna pay attention to is your protein. Protein is going to help you to build that lean muscle. It's gonna help you to stay more full. Um, so that one is very important to pay attention to. And carbs and fats can vary. Some people like to eat a little bit higher carb, a little fat, so I'm not worried if you are not hitting your carbs and fat numbers exactly. As long as you're staying within your calorie goal, you are going to be fine and um, hitting that protein number, you're going to do just fine. And the fine. last thing I wanted to mention is it's not necessary um, to track your exercise in MyFitnessPal because if you do, the app actually gives you those calories back to eat, which completely defeats the purpose of burning those extra calories while you work out. If you eat all of them back, it was almost pointless to do all of that working out. So make sure that if you do enter in your exercise, not to pay attention to the extra calories it gives you. I would just really recommend that you don't add in your calories. That is it for the basics of macro tracking. We will have more videos coming out with more detailed and advanced information. But if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Um, and happy tracking.